Well, one of the one of the great challenges of our generation or of all the generations right now is global health care. And health care has a couple of significant problems. One is getting access to health care, another is, is the cost of health care, and another is the quality of health care. And some people say you can pick two out of the three of those that you want to have, but to improve all of them simultaneously is really challenging. Healthcare systems engineering promises to address those issues. And healthcare systems engineering is an emerging discipline that applies the proven technologies of, of industrial systems engineering to the problems and the challenges of healthcare. And Lehigh University is a real pioneer in that area while being a, a proven entity in industrial systems engineering. Many of the things which industrial engineers uh, have, have dealt with have been uh, in industry uh, in building something or moving a product through uh, a, a system uh, in a more efficient and timely fashion. Um, it's a little different with, uh, with patients. They're a much more complex system and the hospital is a much more complex system. Uh, but there's still lots and lots of opportunity for all the things that we do. How do we utilize Lean Sigma uh, to deal with the stocking of our carts in the OR for a particular surgical procedure? How do we use Lean Sigma to optimize um, throughput of patients in the emergency department as it relates to triage and registration? Um, um, so lots and lots of opportunities for, uh, I think, industrial engineers to participate with healthcare uh, to improve the throughput and capacity and the safety and quality uh, of healthcare as it relates to the patient experience. When we have people involved in a process, I don't think we take the same time to think through it from an engineering perspective as we do when it's a manufacturing or some other product process. Yet we are, in theory, processing people through a system and the more efficiency that we can build into that system, the better the care will be for people. You know, when you go into the hospital, you don't want to be there for five days if you can be there for three. You don't want to be there for five hours if you can be there for an hour. And you also, you know, you also know to a certain extent that it, it needs to be a smooth running system. That you should feel like you're on a conveyor belt. You should feel like all the people are treating you well on a conveyor belt. But think about when you go into like a really nice restaurant. You know, the ambiance is great, the service was quick, food came out hot, tasted good. There are a ton of systems that take place in a restaurant to do that. You don't feel like you're part of a system because they've created an experience that makes you feel like it. But the reality is, it's just a system like anything else. You are gonna be one of thousands of people that that chef's gonna cook for, you're gonna be one of thousands of people that waiter. But if that waiter or waitress makes you feel like you're the only person they're taking care of today, they can be genuine about that and still, you can still exist within a system and do well. So. Healthcare needs to be able to do that. It needs to be able to create a system that works well. So if it's food that needs to, you need to feel like you're well taken care of, it came out hot and appropriate, and you went home when you should have gone home, but also make it not feel like it was a system. Everything should sort of maybe be behind the scenes a little bit. So if you're a patient, you want to see your healthcare provider quickly. When you get to your healthcare institution, you want to be able to be treated quickly. So this whole question of patient flow, for example, is absolutely essential to delivering high quality care. And at the same time, we have to be cost conscious in terms of the resources we apply. So as a, you know, as a specific example, um, healthcare systems engineering is looking at the questions of patient flow, how patients get timely access to care, how we make sure we can move patients through the system in the most optimal manner so they get reliable, high quality care but at the same time um, at a cost position that's sustainable for our economy. Uh, I think there is a huge need for healthcare systems engineering and healthcare. Uh, the point is uh, systems engineer helped many industries like manufacturing and automotive improve their process and uh, quality and reduce the cost. And I think the healthcare area is no different. They need improvement. The beauty of the healthcare systems engineering program at Lehigh, I think, is this, that it blends the exceedingly high rigor of systems engineering, which is necessary to solve these really complex problems, while offering that to an array of students 
who aren't necessarily coming from an engineering background. I believe um, that this, the HSE program really meets a, a need that's unfilled in the industry. There are several top schools out there that have programs in healthcare administration, healthcare policy, healthcare management, but this is healthcare engineering. This, this is, um, it's different. You can, it's not just a name, it's really what, what we do. It's also industry or healthcare oriented and as such has a industry advisory council that is made up of literally dozens of leading name organizations. And so it has this very nice mix of being very student focused while being responsive to the industry as well. It's programs like this that are, that are working with the industry and helping us to figure out how do we how do we advance how do we grow how do we use the new technology how do we how do we manage all of this data a systems engineering graduate has just a terrific opportunity to contribute to change in healthcare hospitals health plans hmos doctor groups are all asking the question how can we improve care for patients not five years from now, but today. When I talk to students, they're looking to achieve what I've heard described as this. They want to do well by doing good. In other words, yes, they want to learn a discipline that is in high demand, that there's a market value for it, in which they can get a job and, and get compensated in a very significant way. But more importantly, they also want to do good. They want to make a difference in the world. And no one can deny that healthcare is one of those topics where there's a need to make a difference. And the Healthcare Systems Engineering Program at Lehigh is a pioneering program in this area. The graduates are among the first who are going to be produced to contribute in this new area. So it's a great opportunity to both do well while also doing good.